Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Von Williams. You can also call me I'm so. And today, hey, wait, before we get into today's video, August has not really been a favorable month. Can we talk about the whole year? We all know it's it's not really as we expected. So 28th of August was the day I decided to upload one of my videos because I decided to be doing videos every single week. I was done editing this video. I tried to render and Premiere Pro decided not to render. And that day was the very day Chadwick Bosman was announced dead. God rest his soul. So I was wondering, is 28 August a good day for me? I'll leave you guys to be the judge. But today we'll be doing something different. We'll be doing a tutorial video and I'll be showing you how to color grade and color correct using the Lumetri scopes in Premiere Pro. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. But if you are a DaVinci Resolve fanboy or you are a Final Cut Pro fanboy, Please do stick around because it's going to be exactly the same. The process I'm going to go through to get the result I want to get. You can use that same process to get whatever you want to get in all the other professional editing softwares because it's basically a similar standard, if not the same. So stick around and I'll see you in the video. But before we get into it, I would like to throw a little bit of an advice out there. Um, <clears throat> to you young filmmakers, we do not have the expensive gear or the fancy gear to be able to get fancy results. I want to tell you this. If you have a camera and the camera cannot shoot log, log is basically a camera profile that lets you get a lot of details in the highlights and in the shadows and it's very suitable for color grading and for color correction. If you're not able to shoot in log, don't worry. This tutorial is for you. I'm going to let you learn how to color grade and color correct even shooting in standard mode without shooting log, all right? Because I don't shoot in log. I don't have a camera that shoots in log. I have an entry level camera, but I still use it to its maximum. I want you to know all young filmmakers out there, right? Don't think about the gear, think about what you can get using the gear, right? So you don't need to shoot in log to get a beautiful color grade. You just have to know what you're doing, right? So let's get into it. I'll see you on the next one. Roll the thing. Okay, so um, if I forgot to mention, I'm basically going to be teaching you how to color grade and color correct using the Lumetri scopes. I probably forgot to say that because I had a lot of things on my mind and I promise, I promise, so so promise, I would never be recording when I'm tired. Most of my videos I record, I'm always tired, so uh, I'm a bit grungy. But now I'm pumped and full of action. Let's get into it. I I I don't I didn't mean to be cathartic or aggressive. So so let's get into it. So I have my clips here lined out. Uh, there are some simple clips, very very basic clips, right? If you do not know how to use Premiere Pro, I would advise you to check on YouTube. There are a lot of resources you can probably use to get better in Premiere Pro. So you can just do that. And hey, Final Cut Pro fanboys, as you can see, this should be familiar if you've been using Final Cut for a very long time. So let's get into it. <clears throat> I'm so pumped and excited. I hope you also are excited. So this is what we're going to be doing, alright? So this is what we're going to be using then. This is the vector scope. This over here, this pretty bad boy is the vector scope. I'll be showing you how to read it very soon. This is the RGB parade and this is the histogram and waveform luma let me explain what they all do right so the vector scope is what you would call um, a color wheel in premiere pro it's basically a color wheel that shows where your skin tones are supposed to be where your reds are supposed to be your blues and everything right and anytime let me just highlight this real quick and let's just get into it and anytime you have a vector scope right hold on anytime you have the vector scope let's say you want to push the blues in this 
footage because the blues are a bit dull we decided to push it so high you can see the vector scope is spilling outside the line right it's spilling outside the line and the, the featherers your vector scopes are supposed to go through to is this line right it's not supposed to go beyond this um, square square yeah, it's not supposed to go beyond the square other than that it's beyond the broadcast range and just oversaturated right and trust me this is not difficult to do at all you just have to read what you do right okay so so this is the vector scope just have an idea that the vector scope this white stuff here is supposed to stay within the confines of that shape if it's out it's overexposed right now we come to the RGB parade what I really use for my color correction all the time so if we open the basic color correction tab we get to know that yeah this is a basic color correction tab because it's written here so I decided to make it I decided to make the shot a bit colder because it was too warm I push it to that side you see what goes on right anytime I push it the blues go up so this is basically the RGB red green and blue right so anytime you push this up it pushes the blues upwards anytime you push this down or you push it to the warm side it pushes the red upwards and always you want to always get the sweet spot where they are always almost on the same line right they are almost all on the same line and it's not really advisable when it hits the hundred um, percent um, scale right it should always be a bit below 100 and a bit below zero so so let's get into it so this is the luma the luma is basically for luminance so if i'm supposed to take the exposure and push it upwards you realize that everything is going upwards showing that it's overexposed anytime you see a white line like this it means you are clipping your footage and it's not good for your viewers because some details in the highlights will be totally blown out so let me just push it down a little bit and see if i push it down all the way we realize that it it hits the bottom but doesn't touch the zeros yet it shows that it's underexposed but not completely black if i wanted to turn completely black i just have to push the blacks and mm, hits it and your video is on on watchable yeah so if that's it if that's it let's just get into it right so today we're just trying to we'll just be doing our best to color correct these footages then probably later we'll color grade them okay let me just play through see if they play through all right okay yeah 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 so with the first video what i'm basically going to do is i'm just going to stare at my rgb parade and see it's to me i think it's a bit well balanced because yeah the they are, they are all almost on the same line they are not supposed to be necessarily exactly on the same line depending on the color in the video but they should be about they should be about the same line so i think i'll push the warmth up a little bit higher and push in a bit of the greens mm, yeah to balance it okay and if you're a lightroom user lightroom for picture um, editing it should be simple okay it should be self-explanatory this ex exposure basically makes your footage brighter or darker and this is the contrast it just brightens the brighter part of the image and darkens the darker part of the image when you increase it but when you decrease it that's the vice versa right do we get it yay we're almost there let's get through this so i'll just have to lift the exposure a little bit this is all personal preference right color correction should be a standard but color grading is a personal preference so we've already color corrected this footage right so i just want to shoot a bit of exposure give it a little bit of contrast um highlight highlight are the details in the highlight how do i explain highlight highlight is basically the brightest side of the image right so if you have a side of the image that is too bright for example the skies you can bring down the highlights to get a little details in the sky but see this sky has no detail it's just a dead sky 
and anytime you reduce the highlights too much you lose some kind of um, touch or information in your footage so you always want your highlights to be in a reasonable position so the shadows is simple it's self-explanatory the shadows is the shadows right and I want this footage to pop so I will just have to push the shadows down a little bit I think it's too down right? I, I, I always try my best to make it a little bit down and with all this you always have to keep an eye on your waveform right so if I increase it all the information goes up it means I'm over exposing it and if I decrease it too much it will be underexposed so I'm already clipping a little bit of this footage over here this shows clipping right clipping is basically overexposed something something uh, overexposed footage right it's so overexposed there are no information there and <clears throat> it's not my fault it's because of camera I use the dynamic range for the camera is very low if you don't know what dynamic range is you can always search on Google it's basically the sky right there's no information in the sky and the sky is pure white that's why it's clipped over here obviously so there's nothing you can do about this but there is something you can do about this I always like to push my white a little bit right to get the bright look and bring my darks down you bring them way down to the hit the zero and you don't let them clip like how these ones clip because if they do uh, okay I can't really show you how much clipping there is in this video because of how it's was over exposed in the first try so so we have basically done our basic adjustments and we have color corrected this video right so this is our before and our after right so with just a simple color correction and a very simple light adjustment we have our before and we have our after right after before after using the scopes the vector scopes and all that right